you are welcome. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukumi Bikekran. Thank you so much for clicking. So, Jewish are shocked after this French Jewish rabbi converted to Islam. Ooh, wow. Let's check it out. Rav Chaim Vital writes, based on Pirkei de Rabbi Eliezer, that the last and most difficult galus that Am Yisrael will face will be the confrontation with Yishmael. And this was said in the 1500s, and the Pirkei de Rabbi Eliezer is even earlier. And he says Yishmael is the most difficult because they are the only one of our enemies that comes with a spiritual power. Hello, Muslim friends of the world. A shocking event took place in France when a prominent Jewish rabbi publicly declared his belief in Islam and converted to Islam in front of his own congregation. The rabbi, whose name has not been revealed to protect his privacy, made this announcement during a sermon attended by hundreds of congregants at a famous synagogue in Paris. In a statement that surprised many, the rabbi mentioned that he had studied various religions in depth over the years, including Islam. He confessed that he became increasingly interested in Islamic teachings after reading the Quran and the works of Islamic scholars. After years of consideration, this rabbi finally concluded that Islam is the most truthful religion in his view. I have been on a spiritual journey for many years, and after studying the Quran and discussing with Muslim scholars, I believe that Islam is the right path. I decided to follow my heart and make this significant decision, he said before his astonished congregation. The announcement immediately sparked mixed reactions from those present. Some appeared very shocked and confused, while others seemed bewildered and in disbelief. However, the rabbi calmly explained his spiritual journey and hoped that his decision would not incite hatred or hostility. This decision is the result of my personal journey, and I hope the congregation can respect my choice. I am not forcing anyone to follow in my footsteps, but I feel this is the path I must take, he continued. After the announcement, the rabbi recited the Sha'ada, the Islamic Declaration of Faith, in front of his congregation. This act marked a surprising turning point in his life, as he had now become a Muslim. The event quickly became a hot topic within both the Jewish and Muslim communities in France. Some Jewish leaders expressed regret over the rabbi's decision, while Muslim leaders welcomed him with open arms. Islamic organizations in France also stated that they are ready to support the rabbi as he embarks on his new life as a Muslim. However, this decision also sparked widespread discussions about religious freedom and the individual's right to choose their faith. In a secular country like France, where religion is often a sensitive issue, the conversion of a prominent religious figure naturally provoked various reactions and opinions. The rabbi, who has now converted to Islam, emphasized that he does not seek to create division but rather to find peace and spiritual truth. I hope we can all live together in peace, respect each other's beliefs, and seek the truth with open hearts, he concluded. This event went viral on social media and sparked debates across various online platforms. Some people praised the rabbi's courage in making such a controversial decision, while others criticized it as a move that could escalate interfaith tensions. Despite this, many hope that this event can serve as a starting point for more open and inclusive dialogue between the Jewish and Muslim communities in France. The decision of a prominent Jewish rabbi to publicly convert to Islam has shocked many, both within Jewish and Muslim circles. This move highlights the importance of religious freedom and the pursuit of spiritual truth in an increasingly pluralistic society. In a statement that surprised many, a prominent Jewish rabbi in France declared that Islam is a religion that cannot be defeated. Mm. This statement was delivered during a sermon at a leading synagogue in Paris and immediately triggered widespread discussion and reactions among his congregation and the general public. The rabbi, whose name has not been revealed to protect his privacy, said in his speech, after studying the history and spiritual strength of the world's great religions, 
I cannot deny that Islam possesses incredible resilience. Its teachings are solid, and its followers have unwavering faith. Mm. Islam is a religion that cannot be defeated. Mm. This statement shocked many, as it came from a respected Jewish rabbi within his community. He continued by saying that, in his view, Islam's strength lies in its clear teachings, the steadfastness of its followers in maintaining their beliefs, and the unity shown by the Muslim community worldwide. Mm. Islam has endured various challenges throughout history, both from within and outside, yet it continues to grow and thrive. There is something very powerful about this religion that cannot be ignored, he added. The rabbi also highlighted the long history of interaction between Judaism and Islam, noting that despite theological differences, the two religions share the same historical roots and many moral and ethical values. The rabbi's statement quickly went viral on social media, triggering a variety of reactions from different groups. Some members of the Jewish community were shocked and disagreed with the statement, while others praised his openness in recognizing the spiritual strength of another religion. On the other hand, the Muslim community in France welcomed the rabbi's statement. Several Muslim figures regarded this as an acknowledgement of the resilience of Islam, which has stood the test of time. A local Muslim leader commented, the rabbi's statement reflects a deep respect for Islam and shows a greater understanding of the long shared history between the two religions. We welcome open discussions and dialogue like this. The statement made by a Jewish rabbi claiming that Islam cannot be defeated adds a new dimension to the ongoing discussion about interfaith relations in France. While controversial, this statement could open the door for deeper dialogue between the Jewish and Muslim communities, reinforcing mutual understanding and tolerance in an increasingly diverse society. Islam is a religion with significant global influence, with teachings followed by over a billion people worldwide. Many Muslims believe that Islam is unbeatable because its teachings are derived from Allah's eternal and universal revelation. The belief that Islam will continue to endure and thrive is often based on several key reasons. 1. Truth of Teachings Muslims believe that the Quran is the word of Allah, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, and that its teachings are a perfect and unchanging guide for life until the end of time. 2. Continual Growth Islam is one of the fastest-growing religions, not only in Muslim-majority countries but also in regions where Muslims are a minority, such as Europe and America. 3. Resilience and Faith of the Community The history of Islam is filled with challenges, including oppression, wars, and colonialism. However, Muslims have remained steadfast in their beliefs. This strong faith is often seen as a source of strength, allowing Islam to persist and thrive. 4. Justice and Social Welfare Islam promotes values of justice, compassion, and social welfare. These teachings are seen as solutions to various global social and economic issues, attracting those seeking meaning and justice in their lives. 5 divine promise. The Quran contains the belief that Islam will always be protected by Allah, and its followers will achieve victory over all challenges, whether spiritual or physical. This belief provides confidence that the religion will continue to exist and grow. These perspectives reflect the optimism and strong conviction among Muslims that Islam will remain a powerful force, built on a firm spiritual foundation and its growing influence worldwide. Wow. Whew. That was a bold step, guys. One of the shocking things in this world is when when you're being led by someone and your leader choose another path. It shocks the followers, right? Just imagine you are leading a group of people, a society, or maybe your office. You are the, you are the head of the department. And there's a way you're supposed to behave there are some roles there are some attitude there are some things you are supposed to do that your followers need to learn or you need to teach your followers to know since you are the head you are the, you are the leader 
But when you now start have you no know, swerving to another level or having another mindset or not be in the same path with your followers, they will all get shocked. Like person way I they follow, they follow another thing. Like you'll be dumbfounded. That's what happened in this rabbi. A rabbi is like let's say pastor, is one of the head for Judaism. Let's say imam, like we have imam or we have Muslim scholars. That's the that's how big rabbi position is in Judaism. And this rabbi, Jewish rabbi, which is a Frenchman, you know, converted to Islam after doing a thorough research about Islam, after reading the Quran. He even made a statement that Islam cannot be defeated, Muslims cannot be defeated. That's to let you know that he has gone deep into the religion. And the religion convinced him 100%. And that made him, you know, switch to Islam, leaving Judaism. You know, the, I just love his bold step. The fact that he didn't care about what people would say or he didn't think about how people will feel. Because to many people, he has let them down. Many people that he is leading, he has let them down. Now, they, they, they don't know which path to, to, to stand. Some people, they are following a leader because of the footprint or footsteps you have laid. And when they see that you are, you, are, you are not going in line with what you have laid for them, some people will you know, have doubts in mind that, should I follow this rabbi since he has left this religion? Some will criticize you and say, what are you doing? You are a leader, so why will a leader you know, fall? Why will a leader you know, backslide or, or doubt his own religion? But that was a great one. You know, I love his courage. I love his boldness. I love the fact that you know, he did his research for so many years, stood his ground, and went for what he believed in. A lot of Muslims accepted him with open arms. Why some Jewish people were disappointed? And it's normal for people to be disappointed because in this life, no matter the decision you make, good or bad, there are some people that will support you. Why there are some people that will never support you? And there are some people that, you know, they'll, they'll just be in between. That was a very beautiful one. Let me know your point of view, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.